Oh, well, okay. Um, <laughs> life is crazy. Um, life is crazy. So if you don't know me, which most people don't, um, I'm into a lot of things. And so one of the things that I use when I'm feeling lost and needing guidance are your tarot and your uh, oracles, oracle cards. Right, and so the deck that I used today told me to prepare and plan um, for not only the chaos that's going to come <laughs> in my life, but also the fun and enjoyment that I'm going to have in my life. Right, and they also told me, you know, you are as wise as you think you are. You are the teacher that you think that you are and you said that you are. You do have power and you do have influence. Uh, you just need to stand tall in that and also continue to ask for guidance um, in your life, right? And so with that being said, I love it and I'm going to eat it up. So this is going to be like a official trailer for myself. Um, this is going to be, I want to say years long a year long <laughs> voice audio documentary daily journal um of my life and I wanna post it uh to the tubes and I'm gonna keep it under the pretense of, you know, the podcast and things of that nature as you follow me in my day to day. And, um, yeah, and we're gonna, and this is how I'm gonna hold myself accountable because it did say take accountability for your life. And I think a lot of times I don't give myself the permission to do such a thing, and I don't give myself, um, I don't give myself any room. I think my biggest problem is like ideas are way bigger than what I can see. And so, with that being a thing for me, uh, I often just close down and just say, okay, this is good enough for right now. When in my heart of hearts and my soul is like literally screaming and, you know, it's burning and it's knocking, like, bro, come on, come on. We are so much more than this. We are so much greater than this, right? And I love when I surround myself around people who are actually doing it, who are actually making their dreams come true. And you get to hear the backstory of how they're basically in the same position that you are in or were in at one point. And they still make that shit happen. But they also let you know that it wasn't on their own doing. It was also them using their resources. It was also them having a dedicated and just as motivational team as them and having people around them that were just as great as them right so in all of that it is just so amazing I love that so rewind a few hours ago <laughs> I'm gonna make animations for this one day um but I went to um uh, everything's weird uh, video premiere, movie premiere, sorry. And um, that's basically what Sophia was saying, you know. And I was like, I love to be around this environment because it lets me know that I'm not alone because I have this bad habit of isolating and making myself feel like, oh, you're, you're literally the only one going through this right now. Nobody's going to understand you. And I think... Um, a lot of that stems from inner childhood, <laughs> LOL, and always being misunderstood or always feeling like the oddball out or always feeling left out on the side. And it's like your whole entire life does not have to be that. You are now an adult and you can now take control of your life, you know, and you can now step into being who you know who you are. You know what I mean? I know that I'm a leader. I know that I'm a teacher. I know that I'm influential. I know that I have rank in this world, right? And that I can do 
and make my dreams come true, right? But I have to give myself permission to make that happen. I don't think that there's ever going to be a point in my life where I'm ever going to just listen to another person and have them say, you know, you're great or you're this and you're that. Like, I can hear it, and I definitely use that as, like, confirmation sometimes, but not much action is going behind that after you say that to me. I have to be the determining factor, and I have to allow myself to have room to push out and birth these ideas in real time and in real life. Like, I literally am built for this. I literally have everything in the world showing me that I am this from the stars, from, you know, charts, from, like, confirmations by the people. Like, it it, it just... It's just crazy how many times that a spirit... The universe literally shows you and confirms it for you. And it, I think they're going to keep doing that until you really have to come to Jesus, sit down a minute. <laughs> sit down a minute and like, be like, whoa, that's me. That's me. You're talking about me. And I think with this being my, I think this is my first house perfection year. I'm finally realizing that. I'm finally conscious and aware of it. Because when I tell you, like, my life is literally opening up in a whole new world. It's crazy. It's crazy. And I think this is really just my subconscious coming to my conscious. And being like, yo, this is, this is it. This is it. Like, you're in it. You're in it. You're walking it out. You're living it out. And I've done so much in these past, I want to say five, not even five months yet. I want to say within this last four months. And I'm going to talk about that too. Um, I just have to give myself permission. I literally wrote that in January on my a vision board. You have to give yourself permission. Um, because I think, I think I'm wise enough to know that other people giving me permission does nothing for me. Like, other people can say, you can be the president. You can be an astronaut. You can be a lawyer. You can be a doctor. You can be the world's most renowned artist there ever was. But if you don't believe that, it, like, people are just shooting ideas at you. And that's all they'll ever be. Ideas. It won't be something that you genuinely hold true to you. Right? So, I think... That is definitely one of the main lessons I'm learning now. You literally have the power to do anything you want to do. And if this is the road that you're supposed to be on, God will literally, literally set you up on your way. Like, literally, every step you take, every move you make, every time you go out, there's going to be an indication that you are on the right path, right? And you're going to meet the people that you need to meet to make these dreams come true. Whether they be lifelong, whether they be short term, whether they be long term, it's just it's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. But you have to believe in you just as much as you believe in everybody else's dream. You know what I mean? So, uh, day one <laughs> of trying to make all my dreams come true. So, thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being here. Um, and just continue to walk with me as I figure all of this out. <laughs>